everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this. Well, this is more of a snack idea. For this, we're gonna be using some berries, and I'm using or working with some strawberries and some blackberries. And this is half a cap. And then I use some chocolate. Now, I personally love how uh, dark chocolate tastes with berries, especially with uh, strawberries. So I'm using dark chocolate, and I'm using three tablespoons of that then I'm working with some white chocolate and I'm using one tablespoon of that one you don't need that much for this amount of strawberries then we're going to be using some uh, barbecue sticks and then a ziploc bag it's pretty easy you're just going to start by cutting first of all the edges of your strawberries and the blackberries or whatever berries you use just to keep the bits that you can actually eat so this is pretty much uh, strawberries and blackberries skewers. We're going to do that. We're going to grab our barbecue sticks and just place one of each one at a time. And I'm just going to leave a tiny space in between of them because I personally like how uh, showing a bit of barbecue stick on between the berries looks like. But I mean, you can go ahead and just fill them uh, all together. That's pretty much up to you. And this is how much I was able to make with the half cup of strawberries or berries, like five of them. But now you're just going to grab your chocolate with your spoon and you're just going to pretty much cover like the top part of your strawberries. If you want to, you can cover all of them and just try to make the surface somewhat even for the next step. And then with the close to nothing leftover chocolate that I had, I went and drizzled some chocolate here and there, just going more than anything on top of my blackberries and, you know, all over the place. So it would look kind of like more, I guess, not so perfect, but more of an extract <laughs> dessert. I don't really know what I mean by that, but this is what the result is like. Once you have done that, you're just going to make the tiniest hole on your Ziploc bag. And then you're going to be working with your white chocolate and we're going to be placing it on the Ziploc bag. And once you have done that, you're just going to uh, pretty much make on the like berries, you place your chocolate on top. You're just going to make a line going from the top to bottom as I did here and then going from one side to the other one. A few things to keep in mind is that if you make a huge hole on your Ziploc bag, you're going to be getting more chocolate out of the bag. But if you cut a tiny like hole, most likely not a lot of white chocolate is going to come up. That's important because it's going to define how your lines, like how big or how small your lines are going to be. So yeah, just something to keep in mind and just place those lines. If your strawberries are tiny like mine, you're not going to be able to place as many. But if you're working with a huge strawberry, you're going to be able to place a lot more to the plate. I did this kind of like failed and drizzling um, movement here with my leftover white chocolate and then I added my skewers on top and yeah just have fun with the idea and the lines themselves don't stress too much they end up looking cute regardless if they look perfect or not and yeah this is a pretty cool dessert and really yummy as well that you can have for the upcoming Super Bowl and it doesn't really have to be for the Super Bowl you can eat this or give this to your guests any time of the year some of my lines like especially with the ones that go from left to right are a bit too big for this um, I can't look struck in there of uh, the length that they were supposed to have some of them I guess I think still look cute let me know if you like them and also let me know if you like this idea if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up it helps a lot subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share it thank you so much for watching have fun with your dessert or snack and I'll talk to you later bye guys